back to the hangar uh, where we're continuing to work on our project uh, Camaro. This is the radiator core support goes up in the front. Uh, it's the radiator bolts to it. It's got some damage. We got a pretty substantial crack or tear here. We've got some rust damage. And uh, then we've got a hole up here which I've ground uh, to the point where I got to good steel. So that's this morning's project or the next project here uh, is to get these repairs done to this so that it'll be ready to go in. As you can see, it's already been through media. All right, so we're gonna work on uh, welding up this tear uh, in this uh, core support. We've got one of these clamps. These are well, they're welding clamps to me. They can be used for anything, but they're they work well when you're trying to hold a couple pieces of steel together. showing up or not but I welded about an inch of that and now I'm going to reposition the clamp we'll continue that process through that whole tear we're gonna to have to come back and grind those welds clean it up and uh, that'll take care of that really don't have to worry about warping a panel so much like this since it's not uh, exposed sheet metal <clears throat> so you can keep more heat on it without uh, in other words run longer uh, stitches of weld uh, without worrying about screwing the panel up and I, I did talk about that in another video so that'll be the process all right so we're continuing to work the welding on this there's kind of an inner and an outer you can see there's actually two pieces of steel so I, uh, I had to put a little bit of weld build up to uh, to close that back up in there now I'm using a lot of techniques that I already showed you in a previous video one of them was backing up uh, your weld with a piece of copper if there's a hole there. And what I've got is I've got about probably an eighth inch between these two panels that is gone. So I need to bridge that uh, gap with weld. So I'm using this copper spoon uh, to try to cut down on burning up the edges of the two pieces. So you back it up and again, as I said in another video, the, the weld doesn't want to stick to the uh, copper. not the prettiest weld in the world but when you're trying to bridge a gap like that I'll bring the camera in here try to illustrate it it's not gonna be so that's what they make grinders for so right in there I don't want to get my finger in there I'll burn it uh, what the hell is that right there uh, it's ugly but it'll uh, once I grind it it'll clean up so We've now replaced a hunk of existing, or a hunk of metal that was gone. All right, well, there's our fix. Uh, it's now has structural integrity and all the separation uh, has been welded up where, where, the, where the two pieces of sheet metal were coming apart. And now I'm gonna do is address this rusted area here. So uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do uh, when you're working on any kind of a uh, patch where you've got to make a repair panel, and I, I mentioned this another time, is uh, make a template out of cardboard. Um, it's a pretty simple template, it's square, but trust me, 
uh, when I say that no matter how simple it is, it's going to end up saving you time uh, if you template it. Now, what I actually used was a cut up old file folder because you know, they were getting tossed and I'm like, well, those will make good uh, uh, patterning, patterning pieces. So I did that uh, I then uh, I then cut out a, uh, a piece of sheet metal. Um, I took it over to the vise and you see I need a radius there on the end. So I had a piece of steel pipe. I clamped the steel pipe and the vise with the uh, uh, with the repair panel in it and I bent it over it and it gave me a perfect radius. So nothing too complex, nothing too expensive. Uh, now the next thing is uh, obviously there's a hole in that and there is not a hole in that. So I got to put a hole in that so that uh, when I put it in there, it's got an opening. So I laid the patch panel in place. It doesn't show up very well. And I traced it from the bottom with the pencil. Now, once I have that, um, I got to find center in that hole. And uh, there's, uh, I'm sure the engineers out there can get on their computer and do all kinds of things. And that's fine, but I, I drug my computer out here and I laid it over the top of it and it, it didn't give me the damn answer. So uh, I worked my way through college as a draftsman back before computers. So uh, these are called hole templates. You can pick one of these up for probably a buck on Amazon. I can't tell you how many times I use them in the shop. Uh, so I'm going to put this on there and I'm going to find uh, the right diameter hole, which it looks like that's it. And I'm going to lay that on there. And these whole these uh, whole templates have got four little marks around them, and if you tick those on your pattern, if you mark those and then draw an X, connect the connect the points across it, that's going to find center. And uh, then I'm going to drill a hole right in the middle, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do to uh, to step that hole up. So uh, more on making. Uh, patch panels with uh, 99 cent uh, parts here. So. All right, so uh, I, I marked up that panel uh, for the circle. I found the center of it. I showed you I did that. Uh, I've got it clamped up here on the edge of my drill press um, and I drilled a small hole. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this tool which is called a step drill or a step bit. Uh, and if you don't have one of these, get yourself one because they're fantastic. And it will drill progressively larger holes uh, and just keep stepping up to the next one. And it's uh, so that's what it's going to look like. I'm not going to film the whole thing, but uh, a couple little more tips from the hanger on how to do a couple things. All right, so. We're back, and here's what we ended up with uh, after the repairs were completed. Uh, you see that step drill did a nice job drilling that hole out. I then drilled uh, four holes and uh, plug welded uh, uh, the repair panel to the uh, existing piece. Uh, plug welds, there's just a, you drill a hole um, and put the clamps to hold the two pieces together, and then you uh, weld through to the bottom panel and uh, it plugs the hole if you will hence the name and those welds are strong like bull so uh, this is good to go uh, our panel patch over here is great um, I'll probably put a dab of putty on my finger and smear it in that corner and we'll scuff and uh, then just this is not quite right but for illustration purposes it gets a mount there and as you can see nobody's ever going to see this anyway but Nonetheless, it's done properly. It's not cobbled together, and it'll hold the car uh, for the next 50 years or more. So there you are. Uh, I did do a video on this that was uh, used in an antenna hole, uh, and it's all the same principles on making these repair panels and welding them in. Antenna hole was nice because it was small, and I could do it, demonstrate the process quickly. I'm going to have to go through those same steps up here because uh, that hole, that's supposed to be there. All right, uh, quick update here. That's what our panel looks like after we fixed it. Um, I could keep fiddling with that until we didn't have to do anything to it, but uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just give it a light smear of putty, 
and it'll be done. And uh, it's taken you through another process where we fixed three aspects of this radiator core support. And I thought I was done, and then I started looking around, and I started seeing stupid stuff all over the place. I got a pretty good dent right here. Uh, and a few other things that I'm going to have to work out. So sometimes these old cars kind of wear you out after a while. So, Kind of like, uh, I guess, Columbo, right? You know, it's always one more thing, just one more thing. And uh, if you don't get that reference, it's in relation to, you know what? I don't care. That's it for now. Good night, Lieutenant. Good night, sir. Good night. Oh, Mr. Franklin. Uh, actually, uh, there is one thing.